Hey everyone, I hope you're doing really well. It's me, Anushka. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Okay. <laughs> so today I have a really exciting review. We're going to be finally reviewing the Revolution Conceal Define Full Coverage Foundation. Guys, we need to take a second here, okay? I've never received so many requests for this foundation. I know I review a lot of Re Re Revolution stuff. Um, they're just a really good brand and I have a really good relationship with them. Well, I hope. And they're just really lovely people. They support, you know, smaller bloggers, bigger bloggers, but also smaller bloggers. And they do come out with bomb products at an affordable price and, you know, good shades and things like that. So, yeah, I do support the brand a lot. They are cruelty free as well, which is a thumbs up for me. Cruelty free and vegan. And they have the little bunny on the packaging. I just think that's amazing. And um, before I jump onto the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out. And today's one goes to Barbie. 0815 so thank you so much for hitting that bell button if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press that bell button to get notified as soon as i post and let me know in the comments below when you have done so and yeah it can be anyone so yeah okay so i bought this foundation for nine pounds on the super drug website and what i do is when i want something quickly i just get it delivered to my local store on next day delivery and i pay like one pound fifty which is so cool um and so convenient especially when i need to do these reviews it says it's ageless unisex affordable um it's a full coverage foundation it's lightweight lightweight yet buildable in 24 shades which is i'm actually quite happy with that for drugstore brand like and they have the majority of them are not like fair to medium they've got like a good balance of each you know range so i'm quite happy with the shade range it's oil free yet creamy and comfortable dries down to a long lasting demi matte finish it won't settle into fine lines we'll test that with my smile lines it's got a glass bottle which i really really do love with a doe foot applicator which is like a jumbo size i just love the applicator so yeah that's just an overall kind of description of the foundation and um, there is much more on the super drug website which you can go check out yourselves if you want to read more into it but those were the main points that stood out to me and i do really like how they have like their each foundation shade and a slight description for each uh, for each shade so for my one for example i was hesitating between f12 and f12.5 because i use kind of like f12 in the stick foundation but it says f12 is for medium to dark skin tones with a neutral undertone and i feel like i have a very olivey warm undertone um so i went for 12.5 which is for medium to dark skin tones with a golden undertone sorry my mic wasn't on this whole time so hopefully the sound is a bit better now um so yeah i found that really really helpful in terms of you know picking my foundation online because a lot of the times the local my local super drugs or boots i oh know they're not stocked at boots my local super drug stores don't have the whole range so it's really important for it's really helpful to have that especially when it comes to picking your shade online anyways let's go on to applying the foundation yes i know chichi you excited too okay i know i'm just going to quickly put some of this new revolution skincare skin um super fruit extract this is their part it's part of their new skincare range but this is more of like um serum slash primer i've been loving this stuff so much it's really really nice and it smells amazing so i like to just put this under my primer a lot of you have been leaving such nice comments about my skin i mean to be honest my skin's not perfect but it's so weird how you guys like leave such nice comments about it it really you know lifts it's really uplifting you know i don't know how to explain it because i feel like my skin's super bumpy at the moment it's just bugging me but anyways we're just never happy are we um and a lot of you have been but anyways the point i was trying to say is you have been asking for updated skincare routine but the thing is is i've been trying the new revolution skincare lately i think it's been almost a week now and i want to really try it i've taken before photos and i really want to try it and see like if it does anything for my skin F over a month and then we'll see how it is then i'll do a video then okay so i'm going to take the foundation so again, I got 12.5. I'm okay with that. I think 12.5 would have been okay for my like my cheeks, but then as soon as I put it around my mouth area, it would have been way too light. So I think I'm gonna use a foundation brush first. Hey, can you stop please? I don't like this brush. If 
foundation kind of smells like sweet I really do like the applicator it's very soft and then I'm just gonna You really don't need a lot of this foundation, I realise. Like, it does spread out quite nice. I'm not sure about the tone, to be honest. But, you know, it's blending nicely on my skin. I think I chose a good colour, you know. Guys, I'm quite happy with that. That's definitely covered everything. Wow. Definitely evens out. I'm going to try the other side with the Beauty Blender. The doe fit applicator is really really soft in my opinion i did want to mention something because a lot of you weren't too happy with the Reve revlon review i did on monday that went up on monday and the thing is like it does not mean that if i like something and i recommend it that you instantly have to like it too and it, you know do you know what i mean like it's, I'm giving my first impression like I'm an individual I have my own preferences you know so obviously if there's something that you don't like that doesn't mean that I can't like it or if something if someone else doesn't like something that does not mean I have to not like it too you know I hope I'm making sense when I go look at reviews it's kind of like you know doing your research seeing different people's opinions and then you kind of form your own one and then see if you want to go buy it. Don't just use one YouTuber and see what they have to say. I know I appreciate the fact that a lot of you trust my reviews. That really warms my heart up and means a lot to me. But when I get comments saying that I'm lying, like, I have to address it. Because I'm that type of person. If there's someone has an issue, I will address it. I don't like, you know, being around the bush or whatever, you know. I think I prefer with a beauty blender, definitely. It was so much easier to blend. And it's definitely full coverage. I think that's beautiful, guys. I'm very pleased with that. And it's not like cakey or heavy or anything like that. And I'm very happy with the shade as well. I didn't think I would be, but I'm actually very happy. This matches me better than the stick foundation, the fast base one, and um, the Revolution Camouflage. The Revolution Pro camouflage foundation like i had to mix two shades whilst this one matches like beautifully so i'm really happy with this one so so far i have good thoughts on it i'm just going to do the rest of my makeup but i thought why not use the conceal and define concealer i use the shade 10.5 it might be a little bit light i do have f12 upstairs but i just can't be bothered to use it but i'm going to use this one just a little bit i might you mix it with the foundation actually I'm just going to do a comparison with the doe foot applicator. Okay, so this is a comparison between the two applicators. The foundation one is much bigger than the concealer one. And I do believe, ha believe they have a super sized concealer version, which is kind of like in between the two, but kind of the same thickness of the concealer one. I think I might just put a little dollop of the foundation and then a little bit of the concealer because i don't want my under under eyes to be too bright you know but yeah a lot of um i've had comments saying that i was lying about the revolution or it was sponsored and i didn't mention it like guys i'm not like that and first of all you're legally obliged to state that your video is sponsored and i don't know which brand would accept working with a uh, influencer and be happy with the influence and not stating that the video is sponsored by the brand like i just don't get that and someone also mentioned that um i was lying i just don't know what i would gain about um from lying about product like i just if something's ashy if something doesn't work i'm the first to say it and you can look at any of my reviews and i will you know i will i will say it Yes, the Revlon product. I know this is a makeup revolution video, but I just I have to read, address this because I know there's a you you get an influx of positive comments, but sometimes just one that ne one negative one can really you know not upset you, but you just want to address it and clear things up. Um, and the applicator wasn't you know 
a lot of you didn't really like the applicator but I think it works really well and it, you can wash it it's not the softest like I said but it really works and you know it blended my foundation really well and it looked a bit ashy maybe on camera because of my backdrop and the lighting and everything but on real life it looks really good and if it didn't I would have said it guys you know me by now my real followers will know me by now I say it as it is but this is just beautiful like oh my god guys can you see this I really like how like it's the concealers blending in with the foundation like it's given a really nice color and you know what it's not like cakey or anything it's very like skin and very lightweight I definitely check those boxes I just finished my makeup I am very very happy with how everything looks to be honest I just love this look as well it's just so simplistic with a nice sparkly eye I'm really happy with the shade I'm really happy with the formula the scent the applicator the whole bottle itself the price the shade range I mean like what what bad thing can I say about this foundation right now please just call me out on it in the comments below because I just can't think of anything right now I really can't my skin is not dry at all anywhere it's not ashy anywhere it's full coverage covered everything made my skin even it works so well with a sponge I don't think I really like it with the brush because it felt like I was dragging it it was tugging basically I think that's the only thing I didn't like about the application process but with the sponge it just blended so quickly and seamlessly I'm just thinking what else it is affordable it's good coverage it's comfortable it's lightweight I don't know I'm, I'm really trying to find something before someone says oh like I'm being modded um, I'm being biased or something I don't know or I'm sponsored by makeup revolution so I'm just gonna wear this foundation for the rest of the day it's now just past 10 a.m. so I'm gonna wear this for a few hours and then I'll come back to see how it's looking then but I really am happy with how just this whole look it just looks like and it's also like set in place it's, it's not even transferring on my hand and I really like it guys I really like it I'm so glad I'm trying it guys how many foundations does a girl need like honestly I got I only got two cheeks okay I know they're big but you know let's just not get carried away so yeah I'm gonna stop rambling I'll be back later on and we'll see how it looks then all right guys I'm now back it's now almost 5 30 so I haven't had this foundation for long to be honest but I have noticed some things that I need to show you guys um, but you know overall it looks it still looks really good like I've had this on for six hours six seven hours so you know it's standard time normally I try to keep it longer but you know I just want to go to sleep now <laughs> I've barely got any smile lines oh my god my eyes are so heavy I just want to bring you up close Okay, so the reason why I bring the brightness down so you can actually see my skin because with bright lights and stuff, like, it does look, you know, very smooth. But this is the reality of my skin. Like, I don't have perfect, perfect skin. Sorry if that was a loud noise. I don't know if you can see, but literally the foundation is peeling off my skin. Some, you know when foundations do that, it's, it's probably because, like, it doesn't go with the skincare and I've used my regular moisturizer maybe it doesn't go with the primer but I've used this with so many other foundations and I haven't had this issue and it's really weird that a makeup revolution foundation wouldn't be compatible with a revolution skincare product you know but here as well it's like gone so weird can you see that I've only heard good reviews about this product but I don't know what that is and it's like faded I have like lighter patches on the sides of my mouth really you know they're coming back actually I've realized they come back in winter like autumn winter time but all here like the foundation is faded off my lips are so dry what the hell here's a close-up
It's going very patchy around here. And I'm a bit shiny in some areas. Especially my forehead. And it does transfer quite a bit where it gets oily. This is a clean finger, right? Look. So there's some foundation there. To be honest, I'm not too fussed about the transferring. It's just that, like the, the patchiness, like I don't know, maybe because I, I do go like this a lot for some reason. So maybe that's why. I don't know why it's gone patchy there. That's just so weird because I barely touched that side. But everywhere else it looks fine, so. I just feel like I need to test this foundation a bit more. Maybe with different skincare. You obviously see me wear this foundation more in other tutorials and also, you know, I was the more I wear it, the more I mention it, like and how I've been finding it. But what do you guys think like overall? I think like this. This everything looks good. But when you come like this like it's gone patchy and I don't know why maybe it's because I I do touch my face there you know I don't know I've eaten and stayed around my mouth I even had like a big um, it's like blood orange I don't know what it's called there's a name for it but anyways I had that and I bit into it and my foundation is still on so I just really like the fact that it looks still looks flawless after so many hours um, I barely have any smile lines um, I did feel like um, I did feel like throughout the day that um, it looked like I was wearing a lot of makeup and I've, I don't know if that's because I've been preferring to wear less makeup in like lately and you know just having that natural look but I do like myself a full glam as well every now and then but because I wasn't doing much today maybe I felt like it was too much I don't know do I feel like my skin looks flawless yes but I just felt like this really disappointed me so I feel like the result of this review is kind of undetermined. I like everything else, it's just this patchiness, I'm just not okay with it. So I just have to work with the foundation more and then I'll try and update the info box the more I try, um, I'm, the more I've tried it. But I think if I ignored this, I'm really happy with the foundation. I don't look super oily, I look controlled. It's flawless, but yeah, it's just the peeling. Maybe I need to change the skincare, I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to head off guys. I'm really glad I do have it. I like the shade and everything and I'm definitely going to be using it more. Um, so yeah, like I said, I will inf update the info box. It's kind of weird because I've only seen like only I've only seen good reviews. The only issue was maybe some people were getting oily with it, but I don't really think I have that issue. Yes, it do I do get oily on my forehead and you know here sometimes, but in those areas it doesn't look overly shiny because I don't have really oily skin I'm just like dry combo like, when I looked at myself in daylight we have a mirror in like daylight by the front door like I could see these like patchy like dark lines on my face and I was like what is that it's an like eyeshadow but it was actually the foundation like gathering in places so I don't know I can't rate it because I still have to try it but I hope you found this video somewhat helpful and if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying review week so far. I have some really exciting products coming up in the next few days. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Subscribe. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.